Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Race and in this video I am discussing about loops in Python and in this section I am going to discuss about for loop in Python. For loop is the most used loop in any programming language. Since it's a very easy to write and handle, developers use this frequently. I myself work on C, C++, Java, PHP and other programming language also. So I see that for loop is really very handy because you know normally you can write in this one in a single line. So in this video we will see that how for loop works in Python. Now let's see here we have taken here colors then red, green, blue. So in this case what we are doing here for in this is the syntax to write here for loop for in for i in colors and then this colors is actually this this variable array and then for i in colors now we will print i in that case its value red green and blue will display the output will be red green display as expected so now let's see with the practical example as you can see i have written here colors and then red green blue for i in colors and then here i have just printed for output now let's save it and check in command prompt let's run it python space and then for dot py you can see it displayed three color as expected Now we will see break statement in for loop. So where it is used actually, you want to terminate the loop. If certain condition meets, in that case, we use break statement. So how does that work? You can see here colors red, green, blue, which we have seen already in previous example. So for in colors, then if i equal equals to green, then print and break so now let's see with practical example so in the same example what i'm going to do is going to write here if i equal equals to equal equals to green green and then then break here Now let's run it again and then see what does it do. As you can see, it displayed only two. So what happens here? As soon as the value of i becomes green, so in that case it becomes like this: green equal equal to green. So when both the value matches then the loop terminates it doesn't go ahead so that was the break statement now we will see continue statement so in case we want to skip any value if certain condition meets in that case we use continue statement for example here is once again the same example colors red green blue and then for i in colors if I actually stay so if i equal equals to green in that case it will continue that means it will skip green and it will show rest of the colors so in this case it will display red and blue it won't display green because we have written here if the value of i is equal equal to green in that case it will continue that means it will skip and the rest of the things it will show so in case you have any array and in that array if you want to skip any particular value in that case you can use this continue statement now let's see with practical example 
simply change here continue and then now let's run it so as you can see it printed first red and then blue it skipped green because we have written here condition if i equal equals to green then it will continue that means it will skip green and it will display rest of the elements so you understand that how break and continue works so in case of break what happens in case of break what happens the loop terminates there only but in case of continue if you write continue if the condition uh, is met in that case it skips that element and it continues the loop continue to run skipping that value so hope you understand this you have already seen that how break statement as well as continue statement work in python now we will see pass so in pass what happens actually pass is more of like comment but the major difference is that comments are completely ignored by compiler while the pass is not pass is used when syntactically the code is needed but because of some reasons you don't want to add the code currently to execute pass statement is null operation when pass statement is executed no reason yields so better let's see with example so that you can understand it better let's see this example we have declared one variable called age and 12 if age less than 18 then it will print you are not adult so you can't do that task now else if actually as you may see else if age greater than equal to 18 and age less than 60 then what i'm doing here currently i won't write anything here that means i will decide and uh, maybe i will ask from someone that what to write here maybe from my manager or senior person and currently i'm leaving this blank this section the red one so in python if you leave here you that means you don't write anything in that case it will throw an error and else you don't uh, you are too old to do anything sorry okay so the redressal is so it will throw an error uh, because it requires some indented block to avoid the error we simply write pass and error is gone so let's see so now how it will look like age 12 if age less than 18 read your not error and then if else if then you will write here pass then it won't show any error now let's see with practical example the same code i'm writing here I'll save it as pass dot py. Age here is twelve. If age less than eighteen, in that case, it will show. Write something simpler. You are too young. you are too young now else if else if age less than uh, greater than equal to 18 and age greater than 60 in that case suppose i am not writing here anything initially currently i am not printing anything i am just i am trying to just leave blank okay here I don't want to write currently I want to write here something later and in else case it will display this message so in other programming languages like PHP or Java you can leave blank for example in case of PHP you can simply write if dollar a dollar a greater than 10 then you can leave blank 
if you don't write anything then it won't show any error but in case of python you must write something here if you don't want to write something here in that case you will have to write here pass so without writing pass let's go let's run this program and see what happens now we we'll write here python then pass dot py need to modify it actually just Okay. So now, as you can see, I'm not writing here anything. Currently, I'm leaving this blank. Okay. Now let's try to compile it. So I'll write here Python, then pass dot py. If you try to compile, then it will throw an error that expected and indented block because it expects you to write something here if you don't want to write anything in that case simply you type here pass that means skip and try to execute it you can see it is running perfectly so let me uh, explain it again pass is used when in any statement if you don't want to write anything so it acts as a placeholder so currently you are just passing here you are just writing here this placeholder but later deleting, deleting this you can write something else so in that case pass statement is used in the next video we will discuss about range function as well as length function and how that works so using range function how we will uh, run the for loop i will show you in the next video